All right, so let's talk about how to make text with P5.js. Um, for these demos, I'm going to be using an external editor rather than the online editor. Um, uh, there's a video about setting that up if you need help with that. Um, but yeah, so we're going to talk about some of the basics here. Uh, we will, in future videos, get into more details about um, specific fonts and stuff like that. But for now, let's just look at the um, basic ideas for how to create text in P5.js. Um, so I've got my canvas here. Um, I've initialized everything with browser sync, so the two are connected. And um, I'm going to go ahead and make my canvas a little bigger. So I'm going to have it fill the screen. Um, I'm also going to add no loop here, just because this is a static sketch. And let's just run that, make sure, oops, save it, and then um, you should see it automatically update over here in the browser. Cool. Um, I'm also going to just make this a nice lighter color. That should look good. So um, the basic command, and it's very straightforward, we can use is just text. So I can say text, and uh, we input what we want to have display. It can be a string. It can be a number. Um, so I can say hello, and then the x and y position for that. So if I save that, we should then see text. Now it's very small. You can see it up in the corner, and it's in a default font. So right away, it's like, no, we're going to want to change some of that stuff. Um, but there's a lot of settings that we can apply here. So the first thing we can change is what font is being displayed. And that's with text font. Um, now, back in the old days of the web, you actually couldn't include your own font. You had to use fonts that everybody had. So you were limited to like five fonts maybe um, at your disposal. Um, now it's really exploded. And we'll look in the next example at how to load your own font. But for now, um, we can use something like Georgia, if I can spell it. And that's now going to change what font is being seen. I can also change color um, of stroke and fill, just like any other shape. So I can say no stroke, fill of 50. Um, and we can change text size. So um, it's text size. This is measured in pixels. Um, 72 pixels should be about an inch, give or take. And then once again, I can use the text command like this, save it. And now we can see two hellos here, the first that we drew just normal, and then the second one that we've styled using a different font, um, different colors, and um, different font size, which is pretty cool. Uh, next, we can also do text alignment. So right now, it's drawing from this corner down here. Um, but we can also say text align center. This is going to be the horizontal position. And then optionally, you can add a second value here, which will be the vertical alignment. So if I do center and center, um, I can now do text hello at width divided by two, height divided by two, and it'll be in the center. I'm going to have one more thing here, um, which is, of course, since text size is just um, a number, we can use math and stuff to control this. So I can say text size height divided by two, and now it's going to scale depending on the size of my window. So if I save this again, now I see this really big text appear here. In this case, because it's skinny, uh, my window is, is narrow, it's not going to uh, all fit, but you could play with that, which is kind of cool. And then one other note, center here is in all caps, and that's because it's actually a variable in P5.js. Um, so if you did it in lowercase, it would not show up or it would not work right. So, OK, this is pretty simple stuff. Let's try um, a couple more kind of fun things here. Oh, another thing to note, you'll see that, actually, before we do the next thing, um, you'll see that the font here and here is the same. And this is like any drawing command. Once you state it, it continues um, until you tell it otherwise. So my font is now going to be Georgia unless I specifically change it. So if I say text font you know, something else here. Um, now that's the font that's going to show up. Okay, so since everything here is numbers and it's just like any other drawing commands, we can actually do some pretty fun stuff even just with these basic text commands. So I'm going to use another local font here. I'm going to set my text size to be a little smaller. I'm going to align it to right and bottom. 
bottom will be the very bottom of the text. So letters that hang down below, um, it will be down there. The line here is called baseline. Um, and we'll talk about some more typographic terms as we go. Okay, so we can do this in a for loop, which will be pretty fun. So um, I wanna do a whole bunch of steps and use a for loop to draw a bunch of text. So I'm gonna make my um, number of steps equal to width divided by five, which I think looks about right. And, oh, another thing you'll notice here, if you saw just now as I was typing this, um, one of the things the external editors allow you to do is um, auto completion. So I'm, it's automatically seeing there's a variable called num steps. And if I hit tab, it automatically completes that, which is great. And then um, I can define some colors. You know what, I'm just gonna paste this in here so you can see instead of you watching me type. So I can use lerp color here to change the color of the text. I can create an X and a Y position using map to go across the screen. I can even create a dynamic angle, which will be pretty fun. So that'll be between zero and two pi. And then I can use um, push, oops, translate. My fingers aren't warmed up today. Uh, rotate, all of this applies just like normal. And then I can say text hello zero zero since we used to translate and pop and now when i run this you can see this big swirl of text across the screen it's a little hard to see maybe but it says hello a whole bunch of times it's twisting and changing colors so you could imagine this bouncing around and creating trails or all kinds of really cool stuff um, you could randomize variables with text all this kind of thing anything where there's a number going in is something that you could dynamically change with the code um, so this is a basic introduction to the text commands. We're going to look at um, how to load fonts next, um, but hopefully this gives you a picture kind of, of, of the basics to how you would do this.